YouTube, this is Dead Smoke Master here bringing you my pupil. I'm just kidding. We got Dead Smoke, aka Mike, Michael Espinosa, aka Truck Driver. Got third place at the ARG circuit in Worcester, Mass. Uh, we're here in Voltage Gaming. Hi, hosted everybody. by the, uh, I'm here to buy cards still. The shock. I haven't left anywhere. Is in the house. Yeah. Popping. Welcome to my store. Greetings. The host of Voltage Gaming over here. Uh, give it a shout out. So, give us a quick overview of what happened this tournament. What happened? Yeah, what went happened? There. You you went in there, right? Played like ten dragons. Mm -hmm. beat, beat them all except for the guy what? in top four. I don't remember his name. What about the evil sword that you gave you the two old treatment? I said I beat all the dragons. <laughs> All the rogue matches I played, Evil Swarm and Constellers. Evil Swarm got me 2 0. Evil Swarm? Round 7. We were just tired. We didn't want to try the, that matchup. I, I tried. I, I popped his Ophion like four turns after he summoned it, and then he killed me. And the next game, I had nothing for a second Ophion, so I was like, all right. Tight pants. All right, all right. So you got third place. What'd you get? 350 credit. 30 ARG points and third place trophy. <laughs> good shit, good shit. All right, to all of you guys don't know, he is, he was number one on Duelit Network. That doesn't Fo matter. Followed by me. <laughs> obviously, well, third place doesn't matter anyways. No one cares about DN, obviously. No one who's not good. Well, what, hopefully they get some DN tournaments sometime in the future. I'd rather play in those, but. Damn, he right play DN. He likes our randomizer. I do. All right, <laughs> let's, let's, let's lay out the deck. What everybody wants to see. I mean, even though they all kind of all saw that. All right, obviously, three blaster. Mm-hmm. Three Tempest, uh, three Redox. Pretty staple, right? No title. No title, yeah. I had to cut something, and title was the one. Right. Obviously, Ducks and then Maxi, so. Right. Anyway. And Destruction is always around. Like yeah, you have to pop things, and he's the biggest one. Mm -hmm. uh, one Corsica, obviously, search out, make your eights. Yeah. Double Phalanx, uh, not three, because you can search it out with. What's this guy's name? Tempest, Tempest mm -hmm. Gold Sark, and such. Oh my god, don't make fun of him for not knowing the names. <laughs> <laughs> it's green, he's gray, he's red. Like, Color wise. Uh, trip Ducks. At like a split second, I was thinking of using two, but. Uh, That's like I said, crazy. Like I said, just yeah, a split you can, second. You can ditch it for Reed. <laughs> I did. Uh, uh, we'll get to that. <laughs> we'll, we'll get to that later. Uh, one Flame One Flame Guard. guard. That was that's a newer addition because I found I needed it to make more eights. Yeah, more eights. Like when you're out of the box. Yeah. And it's an extra blaster pop, which is really relevant. Mm -hmm. One trag. I like him better than Fader or Scarecrow. I know you about to ask. Who told you about that trag? Uh, I told myself about it. Long, <laughs> yeah, long, 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 long time ago. That's fucked up. If you, want, if you wanted the night before, if you want to take some credit, you did mention why I gave up on trag, which made me reconsider it. Right. And, I mean, it was it was this was the last second change, the day day one. Yeah. Right before I ended in my deck list, I, I was maining three ref panels and I scratched it out to two and put in one track and just said, let's go with that. And I dropped it. How many it. games did it win you? I would say at least four or five games. I dropped it and it was really relevant. It was too big for anyone to get over. It, I, I, I pitched seven, steal their sevens, make it a seven, and then go into a free Draco Sack or Big Eye, bait out Veilers. He's huge. He's amazing. I, I want to play two, I just can't fit it in. What'd you give up on uh, Subscar Car, though? I've never played with Swift Scarecrow. Ever. Never? I've played with Battle Fader before, but yeah. Swift Scarecrow, nah. I, I mean, I'd rather have field presence. Like, people are playing Fader now, and that's good. They're playing Fader, and they're using it. That's, that's better than Swift Scarecrow. Think, yeah, they're playing Fader because of the new uh, Fall Ground, right? He yeah, can dodge yeah. the Swift Scarecrow but drop. This thing laughs at him. He's, just, yeah. he's bigger than him, and he'll run him over. I mean, you think it gets still negate. They could right? try, but I'm obviously going to do other things. And you still live through that anyway, so it's all good. But, uh, enough about Trag. He's amazing. Uh, one Valor. A lot of people aren't playing Valor for some reason. That clutch Valor, right? Not sure why, but Valor is just really good. You're doing something? No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> just like that. From my hand and all. Uh, you're never ready for it. If you need it, a tuner. I, I don't think I really that. needed to do that yesterday. I did try to do it today, anyway. Uh, three maxi. Because this format calls like, for it. Everyone's you, just reveal, you reveal. Five, you play five, right? If I could play five, always open with one. <laughs> never lose a game. Cycle, cycle, cycle. I don't think I need to explain Maxi. I think that's uh, all monsters, right? Yeah. yeah, that's all the monsters. All right, sure. All right. Three Common field spells. spells. Yeah, I mean, Dragoonie is one of my favorite decks. Just even before it was a deck. Right? Before, before it was this good. I still played it during Mermail format, during Windup format. Just making starters first turn is always good. Starters set Mirror Force, and then next turn you just go into another eight, and they're they're either dead or really close to being dead. Because mm -hmm, it used to be what Stardust and then Scrap or Thought Roller right. follow turn. Yep, yep. yep. Fossil Fighter, yeah. I played two scraps. People never saw that coming. Anyway, you did? I, I, yeah, not, not tonight. But not, oh, not tonight. Not during over the weekend. 
Uh, triple sword, this card's mm -hmm. too good. This is the reason the deck is really good. Right. Just draw two, get advantage, use that plus to ditch for ravine and search and you break out. Even. It's just it's it's, it, it's too good of a combo. It's too bad it won't be around for too long. Uh, trip continents. Uh, this card is really good, and I, you like it at three. I, I like it at threes to make sure I draw it. It was never dead. Okay, let me take that back. <laughs> it can be, but you just you search out the stuff that you need and then use it if you draw it. It's an, it's more of an iffy card. Like I have another build that doesn't use consonants, but I wanted to test out different different builds, and this is the one I went with for the tournament. Just you open you open up your hand and you just you try to draw into your whole deck, get dragons in the graveyard, and that's what Constance does. And that's why another reason I play the Flame Bow Guard to have four targets, the two Phalanx, the Corsica, and the Flame Bow Guard. You're so good! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Chuck. Uh, double MST, I uh, side the third. You should have three somewhere in your main deck and side deck. Mm -hmm. For a certain decks that you need it more. Um, obviously for ravine, for when people try to replace your ravine, it's really crucial to get rid of it. And if they're pitching things like Wing Blast, like they have a really bad hand, they just they lose they instantly. Lose like it's a wrap. Uh, it's a wrap. One Gold Sark. I don't think I need to explain that. Uh, you can Gold Sark return. Some pro players are doing that, but I always Gold Sark and get my my Phalanx and Consonance it. Things like that. Uh, I mean, oh, where did Nadi go? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> bottomless Compulse. You summon something, I get rid of it. Just um, done deal done later. Deal. Return. The nuts. Too, too good. Auto win. Uh, double decree. You know, that's why I played the double space. It's because two, two and two. It's the rest way to go right now. Just They set a bunch. You flip that in end phase. You make a first turn, start us Radiance, and then kill them. Blaster and another eight is game. It's just... Math. It's everything. over. It's over. I would just play three of these and one or zero MSTs, but because of Ravine and such, you have to play MST. Uh, double ref panel. Double ref panels. I mean, everybody talking shit about that card. Like, oh, this card is so shitty. You Why would you the, play the plus three card? Like, just, like <laughs> you play this. Oh, nope, I'll draw, and you lose a card. Like, lose two cards. I yeah. To Randall today. Right, you do it to someone. All right. If you guys have not noticed, he does not play six cents. He does not need it. Oh, he got he got there without it. Uh, there were a few other people playing six cents. The, some of them were siding it, but I, I yeah, I don't use it. No, I don't. I don't. I don't like the randomness of six cents. You never know if you're gonna hit it or miss. And even if you do mill, you're gonna mill. You could mill bad. You could, and mill your no, ducks. Mill your ducks. Is mill your ravines. It's just I'd rather play a card that will always do what I know it's going to do. And then with yeah. six cents, I might get lucky and, and take the game. Which, yeah, which is, no six cents for me. Nowhere. Nice uh, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Uh, what's, what's the side that consists of? All right, sure. You need to play side deck. I no, <laughs> I, I, I didn't side deck that much. No, no, not even the mirror match, right? No, the main it, deck is meant to beat the the well, mirror match. It is, I guess. I didn't really set it up to do, besides the ref panels to do that, but anyway, uh, double breakthrough skill, evil swarms, the worst matchup. I lost to him. Obviously, they didn't put in enough work, but I didn't see them. So, uh, other matchups. I mean, when I didn't know what I was playing against, I would side them in if I beat them too quickly and all. Like, when, in, like round six, I don't remember. So, set three, I flipped the Cree, went in with the Trident Dragon. I didn't see a single card in his deck, so I sided them in, and it almost put in work. He made a blader. I drew this. I top decked it, and I set it. He blew it up. Otherwise, I would have He scooped the shot. I saw yeah, that I game. Like, <laughs> All right, you got that one. Uh, the second Valor, certain matchups where I need it. Like what? Uh, I mean, it's in sectors. I don't know what to say. Uh, let's see. Uh, Dragoonity, Ruler, Mirror Match. Mm. Trying to hit up the ducks. <laughs> <laughs> you don't look at me like that. <laughs> All right, uh, quick right. question about the main deck. Why didn't you play the level 6 uh, Dragoonity? Oh, oh, Miss Mislin or whatever? Yeah, uh, I used to play with Dragoonies a lot, mm -hmm. and that loop is really, really good. But it, it is, it's clutterful, and I just felt like if I cut that, I can focus more on the E-Dragons and just the Ducks. Right. Yeah, see, this hurts. And that was pretty much it. I needed to cut cards, and it had to come from somewhere. And I had needed this engine to be live, and this engine is enough. Ducks is already, he, him himself, he can win the game by himself. It's just boss. Ducks, 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 yeah. Ducks. Mm -hmm. That's why like, Legionnaire I used to play as well, and I just can't, I have to, something has to go. And it had to be Missilin, so... I didn't, about I didn't miss him. In a deck that plays Decrees, why didn't you play Book of Moon? Oh, Book? Yeah, Book and Lance, yeah, like I said, I have a few builds. I was going to play those, but 
I just felt like I didn't need it. The bottomless and the compulse, which are tannable, I can have decree and those set. When someone goes off, I flip one of them and then decree them after that. That's just the way I do it. I mean, you you know how to play your own deck, so right. I can have those both set and just wait for you to do something. Even if you're being passive, fine. I'll keep my decree. I'll summon and bail your stuff. As soon as you try to do something, then I'll stop you, and then I'll flip decree and, and kill you. So, yeah, if looking back, I would still like to play like book and lance is really good for when you like have a crimson blader and you're going to attack their blaster and you lance them and like, they didn't see it coming things like that or you play a starter set lance they make crimson blader and attack into you it's really good at that point but, yeah because i think trapstone was a very popular card that weekend a lot of people were playing trapstone yeah i just prefer decree because it stays around and it's just always there and it, uh, the few times where i did have like decree and return set i just made a scrap dragon popped Return. Mm. It was just you, you, you know how to play your own deck. Uh, Eradicator. Because you know, spellbooks is a card. <laughs> is a deck. Uh, spellbooks won defeated day one. That was really interesting. Like I sucked. <laughs> I saw his build. I don't. I don't think he sucked, but I, I didn't watch him play. But anyway, champion. Sometimes, <laughs> if I was going first, okay. I know. Never. I never sided in that day, but I do sometimes uh, against mirror match hit spells. If they draw ravine sword sword, they're gonna lose I mean, if you do that first turn. Uh, spell books, same thing. They didn't sign it in all day. A one Ryo. Ryo, yeah. They, they, you drop this against them, they're done. Yeah, they, they, common one it's really hard. A common Ryo, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't going for all rarity. This is a common e eradicator. Uh, fragrances for the spell books as well. I didn't see. So, so didn't, much hate. Not, that's not even. <laughs> hey, I lost to that deck today, so obviously I need more hate. Uh, one warning. No. Is that for evil swarms? Yeah. As soon as they make Ophion, just Because it's only at one. Just get rid of it. Yeah, yeah, that would be the evil swarm. But he draws one. it, so what does it make? With six row cards. Which is pretty good. Yeah. Uh, I, I, well, not maining warning just because of the, the life point you have to pay. And against dragons, the, all right, all right. No, I'll just negate, push you. And then you'll just, they'll just push damage. on you. So yeah. you can't really main it. Uh, uh, let's see what I have here. Well, that's a little messed up. Did you want me to do it like that? Encore, then uh, MST? That's, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Triple Encore. Triple Encore. He hates Evil Swords. I, I drew one against him. I said, <coughs> I said it so he didn't get his plucks, but he blew it up, and then I lost that game. If I had held it, I probably would have had a better chance against him, but like I said, I didn't want him to get that plus. That card's irrelevant anyways, right? Pandemic sucks. Uh, it's not like you cite anything that will stop him besides <coughs> the bottom of pulse, right? Well... <laughs> I just would rather not have him have it, but it doesn't matter. That game was over. That, that game, that match, I deserve to lose. Uh, anyway, but it's really good against them. Like, I've played Evil Swarm a lot, and I can beat them a lot after I side deck. They can't really deal with the encores and the breakthrough skills. That's the deck that I hate the most that I side everything for. The third MST, the third decree. Damn. During, during Swiss, uh, since I didn't need to side deck against the Dragon Mirror match, I just would side out my Decree and my for MST the, for Decree and MST, so they would look like I was siding. <laughs> so they would be like, I don't know what's next deck now. Just so I'm not sitting there like just shuffling. Like, you're not going to side? No, I'll side, sure. But, yeah, yeah, a lot of people just, think you're throwing the E-Virus or something like I, that. Yeah, I just found that I did not need to against them. I just had the game. Mm. Oh, Double Swords of Concealing Light. Why the fuck did you play this card? This is the card you came after me before you left. Yeah, with your store court, yeah. Your I store was court. like, I, I mean, need, I, I know like, why, but you, a lot of people want to know why. I was like, Chuck, I need this card. Let me see if you have any. He barely had any in stock, but well, this is my favorite card. Growing up as a kid, I just loved Swords of Concealing. Nah, what happened is there's this, <laughs> <laughs> there, there's this deck called Noble Knights, and they have a lot of equips that are they make them untargetable, undestroyable. And this card doesn't target or destroy. It just flips them all face down, and all the equips just fall off, and they don't come back like they're supposed to since there's nothing to equip to. I didn't play any Noble Knights. I didn't even see any Noble Knights there, which usually they, people are. They're trash. They, they are trash. They are, but I'm not going to stop siding too because someone's going to play them, and it's a pretty good lock that they get you in. So yeah. this card is just an instant answer, and that's that. Uh, and an extra deck is pretty common by... I was seeing people's Champion. extra deck. Yo, Boss MVP. Monster. HTS Simuth. Yeah, yeah I, never, I never said this guy's name all day. I just brought him out, and people started reading him. <laughs> He's a DD warrior lady. He's a six. One of my friends actually made this a lot against me, and I didn't know why he would play that over Orient Dragon. But the reason is, if you get max seed with your, your duck's phalanx play, you just make him first turn, and they can't blade her. You don't leave yourself vulnerable to blade her because they'll just get double banished. Even if they have a, a bigger E dragon, they, if they summon that turn, they're not going to want to run into it because then they'll lose their dragon. It's just, it's just what you go into when you don't want to give your opponent cards and you don't want to get bladered. 
I kind of wish I played two, but I'm not going to play two. Uh, another crucial time, this was really relevant. Uh, my opponent made a star eater because he's tried, he mm -hmm. attacked into this, thinking that his star eater would be unaffected. And then I was like, all right, let me read this real quick. After damage calculation, star eater at the end of the damage step. So I banished, and he didn't think his guy got banished. We called over the judge. He said that the star eater is fine, that it wouldn't be affected. So I had to appeal to the head judge, and he was like, nah, because Simon activates later on after the fact when star eater is vulnerable. So it banished it, and that was huge in that game. After that, it was very easy for me to come back at him. Uh, Simon is definitely really good. You're the fucking best. <laughs> Scrap, Scrap dice to the staple. Just one. I mean, if I had the room, I, I kind of do have some room, but one Scrap Dragon is enough for now. I can't wait for Jeweled. He's going to be really good. The jeweled red yeah. eyes. Yeah, the jeweled red eyes. I don't need to explain Scrap at all, but a good combo with Scrap with a card I made almost first turn every game uh, is the Stardust Spark Dragon. Broken. I guess I was supposed to show last, but yeah, I made this guy first turn just about every game that I could. To protect what? To protect myself. Decree. My, 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 my decree? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that was a really good combo. You make Spark, you set Decree. Don't wait over there. You flip it up. It, it's over. And you have a Trident play for a game if you want to if you feel like you can it would really it never happened to me all, every time I made Trident Dragon I won I never got booked or, or faded but anyway that's over uh, since you already show Radiance or sure Spark I whatever Spark Radiance I call them Radiance yeah I call them Radiance too I hate the TCG names yeah they, they mess things up all right, uh, triple badge, which is obviously pretty stable. Yeah. So much vagina. <laughs> you can never have enough vagina. Now you've seen it. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> who, who are you? That's colossal uh, Fighter. Six weeks, man. Colossal. Colossus Colossal. I don't need to talk about Colossal. Uh, double Draco Sack. I never made two all day. I just made one. But having the threat, yeah, I just, I like the It's always good having the option, right? Yeah, it is. It is. It just is. Still play the Royal Stardust? I still play him. I know. I, I never made, made him, it. I made him to make Trident Dragon because I didn't want to waste my Spark Dragon, but I I did make so I, that was the one time. He's still good. I think I made him against Constellers, like certain decks. He's just not good against dragons, and that's all I played. So that's why I didn't make him. But yeah, if you play anything rogue, um, Black Wings, Constellers, not Evil Swarm because they run him over. He's a good card. Uh, double Big Eye. Damn. Once I would have gone into two. I made, I made it, and then my opponent set up, and he's like, if you play the second big eye, I'm tight. I'll just well, scoop. I just showed it to him, and he scooped. So that would have been the only time I made two big eyes. Uh, double blader. So you kill one, people think they're set, and nope, they're not. And you take the game away from them. But I did not need to go into it. So, you know, certain things I could cut if I need to, like the big eye and the Draco sack, give myself some more options, some more variants, like another side move just in case I get max seed again. And the giant, though, everybody the was playing. The giant, yeah, the level 9 vanilla. Yeah. Not, vanilla. not vanilla, yeah, but... Yeah, the one. generic level 9. I could I could put him in. Yeah, people wouldn't see that coming. That would, I could play test with it. Oh, and the Trident Dragon, my MVP card, I wrote on my deck sheet, which I just took as a joke, by the way. Uh, anyway. 27-year-old <laughs> truck, truck driver. Yeah, that's me. Can't you tell? <laughs> I was just at a pit stop, and I just decided to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, anytime I brought this out, I won the game. It was probably about four or five times uh, all weekend. Just decree, trident, game. Uh, I was really tight in the third-place match and because he booked my redox i thought i was set he had one backfield i had decree i played redox removed two thinking that whatever trap he plays i'll be able to i had mst whatever trap he plays i'll just chain decree chain return and win so i i, I activate mst and he books and i was like oh a spell i can't deal with that so he flipped my redox down i'm like oh, what can i do now i can't synchro with it i needed that so i returned uh with the, I had two, two, I had a guard, a Corsica, and a seven. So I, I returned. That's when I returned for a guard, yeah. a Corsica, and a seven. Did you they, win? They, they, of course I won. Then you with got Trident it. Dragon. <laughs> you went into an eight and yeah. then into that bitch. Yeah. Return. After, right after that, the judge started reading him like, hmm, didn't see that coming. Okay. But. Damn, <laughs> broken. All right, man. Congrats on going third at the ARG. Uh, we'll definitely be seeing more of this deck. What do you think you're gonna play in the next format? I don't know what's coming up. I'm going to play Dragoonity. You're going to stick with Dragoonity? Dragoonity, just when E-Dragons are gone, that's More fine. traps? That's fine with me. People will stop playing my return. I mean, not my return. My return. My, my ravine. My ravine. And then I can actually just have it out there what for more than a turn. 
What makes you think Dra Dragon Ravine is staying at third? Yeah, yeah. it's only a one. If the deck, you thought, yeah, no, no. You if thought. That happens. If that happens, <laughs> if that happens, then sure, I will have to pick a different deck. I'll go back to Light Sworn or something like oh that. Oh my God, <laughs> with all the support. support? I, I, I don't usually play tier one. I'm just uh, this, isn't, oh, this isn't an so E Dragon insane. deck. This is a this is Dragoonides featuring <laughs> featuring e featuring Sword, which works with with these guys. That's that's okay. what I'm playing. Okay. You know what I'm saying. Cause that ain't popping. It's like playing rabbit in that. Uh, <laughs> anyways, all right. Shout out to Voltage Gaming. Voltage Gaming. So yeah, Chuck's not here. There's nobody here because it's past the time. Yeah, it is 12 at night. Because everyone got here late. So. All right, everybody in the Massachusetts area, New York area, forget about. I don't want to hate our gaming ETC, but like you know, come check us out. We do full price support and 